How's it folks? I have noticed that some people are a little confused or need some tips to complete various combat challenges. So I decided I will cover an easy way to complete each of the combat challenges including the Dead Devil challenges. There will be chapter marks in the video if you are looking for a specific challenge. And without further ado, let's get started. In order to get the first set of challenges, you need to speak to Marie de Vint, the merchant pilot in the Flying Duchess which will unlock the Outlaw Hunt 1 combat challenges shown here. These are fairly simple ones, but the sooner you get started on them, the better, as completing them is necessary to unlock more challenges. To start off with, you need to kill 5 Outlaw Scouts affected by EMP. It doesn't have to be 5 together, just 5 in total. Make sure you are in range, then use the device EMP and destroy them to complete the challenge. It's fairly straightforward. The next one requires you to take out 10 outlaw drones using missiles. This doesn't include rockets and I wouldn't recommend using corrosion missiles as I found that if the corrosion damage took them out then it didn't count for the challenge. I completed this one by taking out any other enemy ships first, then using missiles to take out the drones. Alternatively you could use a bomber as their main means of damage are using missiles and use energy instead of ammunition. The third one asks you to take out web drones, while not webbed. They spawn fairly frequently in high risk areas and if you take them out from long range before they get anywhere near you, then you will complete this challenge fairly quickly. Completing these three unlocks the master challenge of destroying an outlaw base from an unknown signal without taking any hold damage. The hardest part of this one is getting a base to spawn in an unknown signal, so just keep traveling between two distant points until you get one. As long as you still have some armor remaining and don't lose any hull points, it is fairly easy. If you are worried about this one, just use a sniper with the marksman catalyst that will outrange anything and take out the turrets before destroying the base. This will reward you with cinnabar color for your engine and a 10% discount from the flying duchess. Completing that will also unlock the Outlaw Hunt 2 challenge, which is the one in particular I've noticed some people having issues with. The first one involves destroying an outlaw demolisher with its own mine. This one I would recommend taking out any nearby enemies and damage it enough that sending its own mine back at it would take it out immediately. I would recommend flying behind it and as it releases its mine you will have a brief window to grab the mine. Pressing F is the default key to grab it and once you have it you will be able to launch it back at the demolisher to blow it up and complete the challenge. Alternatively, you could use the bomber ship if it has the passive that converts mines that you fly nearby. Although I wouldn't recommend this one as in the early game it may take a long time before you get a bomber to spawn with that passive and it will probably be quicker to complete this challenge by picking up the mine and chucking it back at the demolisher. The second challenge asks you to take out an outlaw anti-missile drone using a missile. The easy way to do this one involves to save limit with your EMP then blowing it up with a missile. This one is also fairly straightforward. The third one a lot of people have an issue with. I covered this in my mid game tips video but I'll go through it again here so all the combat challenges are in one video. The outlaw overseer has armor plates that glow orange but may be a bit difficult to spot so I would recommend going into photo mode when near the ship to see them and use some sort of hit scan weapon to target those armor plates. You need to take care of the armor plates one by one before destroying the ship, so using an EMP to disable it may make it a little easier to attempt as well. I would also recommend turning off aim assist to make sure you are targeting the armor plates specifically. The fourth one asks you to destroy an outlaw drone carrier without destroying any of its drones. I found the easiest way to complete this one was to use a scout ship and pick it off from a distance. If you don't have a scout, then just make sure to only focus on the drone carrier and don't use weapons with explosive damage like the flak cannon and you should complete this one in no time. Completing these four will now unlock the master challenge to destroy an outlaw sniper drone from at least 3000 meters. Once again, I would recommend using a scout with a rail gun that has the marksman catalyst on it which can get you an effective range of well over 5 kilometers, which is more than enough to complete this challenge. The hardest part of this one was to get a sniper drone to spawn, so if you also have any issues of getting them to spawn, then they frequently show up in high risk areas. If they spawn too close, then use boost to get enough distance and you should knock this one out. Completing this challenge should unlock the blush engine color and outlaw ravagers have a greatly increased chance of 
drop-in prototype equipment which I found incredibly useful. Now that we have the outlaw hunts out of the way, let's move on to the advanced combat challenges. The first one is very easy. All you need to do is aim at the missile with a flak cannon and blow it up. Can't get more straightforward than that. The second one requires you to destroy an enemy affected by three or more debuffs. I am going to list some of the debuffs that are most easily available in the early stages of the game. All you need to do is stack three of them onto one ship before destroying it. The two easiest come from the EMP and virus device abilities. Then either use a web or destabilizer missile, which could work. Alternatively, you could use an EMP missile if you didn't use the device version. Any of those three together will complete the challenge once you've blown up the ship. The third challenge wants you to destroy five enemies in five seconds. There are a whole bunch of different ways to complete this challenge, but it seems made to be used by a striker. If you use its ultimate quantum tether, that when nearby five enemies, then destroy your target, the damage will also hit all the targets linked by the tether and destroy them. The fourth challenge requires you to hit two drones with one mine. I found it easiest to complete this one by using a drone carrier and launching mines at it. Although I have noticed that corrosion mines don't seem to count towards the challenge, but the normal one works fine as drones have barely any health to begin with. Completing these four challenges unlocks the master challenge asking you to take out an enemy from over 4000 meters. Once again, he's tailor made for a scout. You know the draw by now? Get a railgun, use a marksman catalyst and snipe from afar. You can charge a railgun to cause more damage by holding down the fire button if you're worried about not taking it out in one shot or just pick off a drone from long distance as they should easily be destroyed in one shot by a scout stealth archer. With that done, you should unlock the air and engine color as well as getting a buff of 50% increased damage for 20 seconds as soon as you enter a new area, which I found very helpful on getting the upper hand as soon as I enter a high risk area. Finally, we have the Dead Devil challenges, which should unlock as soon as you completed your first high risk area. Instead of completing specific objectives, this is more focused on completing high risk areas by limiting yourself in some way. They don't all have to be completed in one high risk area and can be spread out over multiple ones. And if you're having trouble completing these ones, maybe try them when you are level or two above the high risk area. The first challenge asks you to complete a high risk area without firing a primary weapon. This one is tailor made to be completed with either a bomber or a vindicator. Just to be safe, I would recommend removing the primary weapons from your equipment slot so you don't accidentally fire them and ruin your run. Otherwise, focus on missiles and devices to stay alive. If there are a lot of anti-missile drones and your EMP device is on cooldown, maybe try using the sticky tarot consumables on a nearby asteroid, as they won't disqualify you from this challenge while providing you with some extra firepower. The second challenge requires you to complete a high-risk area without using any devices or your ultimate. This one is also fairly straightforward if you are used to your ship. I completed this one using an interceptor and just dogfighting my way through, but any ship except maybe the Stinner should do, as the Stinner heavily relies on its device usage for extra damage. The third challenge wants you to complete a high risk area without taking hull damage. I would recommend trying to complete this one while attempting one of the other two mentioned previously, as this is also pretty straightforward. Although if you're struggling a bit with this one, then try using a ship with excess shields like the Vanguard. And the fourth challenge requires you to complete a high risk area without any shields or armor. This one I would recommend using a ship with a lot of held health and regen like the bomber and vindicator or you could use a striker for its excellent mobility. Or if you prefer light ships then use a scout for its stealth and long range attacks which may help you out. Personally I wouldn't recommend to complete this challenge with any of the other restrictions mentioned previously and attempt this one on its own. The master challenge for the daredevil challenges is to complete a superior high risk area in under 6 minutes. If you are struggling to get a superior one to spawn then don't forget that you can visit the black market dealer at Prescott Starbase to purchase one. And maybe drop a manual save before attempting it so you can retry if you end up running out of time. This is also one I would recommend attempting when you are higher level than the high risk area as you deal more damage to lower level enemies and will ultimately complete it quicker. 
You could also attempt this challenge on one with the GNB LR modifier to get some extra hope. I personally went through this challenge using an interceptor and just blasted my way through it in no time. Alright pilots, that concludes our ultimate guide to mastering the combat challenges in Everspace 2. I hope you found these tips and strategies helpful in your quest for victory. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep honing your skills and experimenting with different tactics to become the ultimate space ace. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more Everspace 2 content and other gaming guides. I would love to hear about your experiences and any additional tips you might have, so feel free to share them in the comments section down below. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please let me know. Till next time, keep soaring through the stars and dominating those combat challenges. Fly safe, pilots!